What's up DJ Tech Tools? My name's Alex Lee and in today's video I want to show you an effect I put together in Ableton Live called a noisy transition. This effect is exactly what it sounds like. It is literally just a transition using the noise generators that come prepackaged in Ableton. You heard it in the intro, so without further ado, let's take a look at the effect rack. First in the rack is an EQ. Since we're transitioning out of the song that we're using the effect on, we want to make the song less intense. So this EQ is used to just cut out nearly all of the bass in the lower mid section of the track. After that we have the beat repeat, which captures 1 32nd of the track so you can keep this loop up for as long as you need to get a good mix out. After that we get to be super obnoxious with two effects units that are literally just noise generators. They generate noise based off of whatever is getting pumped through it. Super convenient and it's what this effect is really based off of. After those two units we have an overdrive that is just used to distort and pump out as much as possible, all the noise, and a compressor which is used just to keep it from blowing out your face. At the end of the effect rack is an effect called Pump Me, which was released by these cool dudes at 4Live.me for absolutely free. You can download it, link in the description. I use it not only just with these effects, but I actually sometimes use it on my track channels themselves. All they do is add a side chaining effect with a variable intensity. It's a single parameter effect. It's fantastic. The point of the effect is to be able to grab a very small portion of the track and turn it into ambient noise to mix out of. Here's the full effect in action, and alongside it I'm going to be explaining exactly what I'm doing so that you can just get the hang of this real quick. Okay, so I'm going to use this button I have mapped over on my Zone 2D here just to capture on that beat repeat 1 32nd of this track. Always do it on the snare, just force to have it. And I can turn the volume up on that. Start pumping it through. I always turn the filter down on the first track then just so I can make room for the white noise. Okay, getting ready to start a second track here. up on the white noise. So it's to build some more tension for when this drops in. And there it is. It gets pretty smooth and it can get really really dirty depending on how much noise you want to add and how loud you let it get. So there you have it folks, uh, that is the effect noisy transition, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video, if you did leave a thumbs up or a like, and if you have any questions go ahead and leave a comment down below and I should be able to get back to you within a day or two.